And so rhythm combo today this is a um, this is two orbits to one flare and this all together is going to equal one bar all right and we're going to use a kick and a snare we've done this before with using fresh and on stuff like that just like a regular scratch sound so you can hear the scratch style of it and, and we have the animated notation with that one uh, but this one we're just gonna we're gonna do a lecture on this as a, as a drum scratch because this is a really useful uh, cross rhythm that you can do with the kick and the snare. Alright, so it's going to start out, so it's two orbits and one flare, but it's important to note that the flare is a different size than the orbit, and we'll draw it all out. Okay, so we're going to, you know, we're going to go in on the scratch today. Alright, so to start out, we're going to, for those that don't know what an orbit is, um, and for those who do know what an orbit is, this scratch is going to be easy for you because you can do two orbits and then a flare. But, so this is going to be so it's going, so that's two clicks on the forward motion, and it makes three sounds. And the backwards motion is going to be another two clicks, right? And made another three sounds, right? Okay, so it's like a pie. It's cutting, if you, if you make two slices in a pie, it's going to make three pieces. That's kind of how scratching works when you put a slice in it, all right? Now, so that's the first orbit, and then we're going to do that again, so three sounds, right? And two, that's two clicks, and then backwards, all right? So that's three more. So now the flare makes four sounds. So all together, that's six sounds plus six sounds is twelve plus another four sounds. That's going to be sixteen. All right. So that's sixteen sounds all together, and that fits all the way into one loop. So it's sixteen sounds in in one uh, one loop. So it's going it's going.
right? And then the flare. So we're going to break it down. We're going to go slower. So we'll do the orbit first. Whoops, let me do that again. All right? And then, all right? All right? So now we're going to start to actually do this correction, speed it up a little bit. So. So this sound sounds good on a lot of this particular combo can sound good on a, can sound good on a lot of kicks and snares, not unlike three clicks, which you know you kind of have to have a kick and a snare that don't have a space in between the middle of them. But this one you can pull it off with most kicks and snares, even if it has a big space in between. So we're gonna do a lot of different scratch patches today, so let's try this out now. So I'm gonna start off slow again. So. doing that flare in the end different in different ways sometimes different kind of accents you know um, even though the clicks were the same the kind of that so even though your clicks can stay the same you can accent it, accent the scratch differently by how you you know use the the record hand okay so we're gonna start slow again so You notice this is a one bar loop. That's what's really cool about this scratch is that it lasts for one bar. So, you know, so even though it's a cross rhythm um, and it's kind of going against the beat, you know, it, it's just a one bar loop. So, you know, um, you can fit it into as a bridge or, or you know, breakdown or intro or, you know, or just a, just a regular, uh, regular loop, you know. Um, and also, too, you know, so for those who don't know what cross rhythms are, cross rhythms are rhythms that are kind of going against the beat but they still fit because they're kind of in a different time signature they're cut up in a different way that's a little bit more complex than a normal like 4-4 four, four, like like if I'm if I'm doing a regular uh, orbit like this like, like. That's that's not a cross rhythm. That's just like what are the 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 But when I was doing the other one, it's going what are the what are the what are the what are the waka waka what are the what are the what are the what are the waka waka. All right, so it's going. in that one with when I did the snare I mean the, the flare and the end of the cross rhythm the the, the snare um, some, sometimes I you I incorporated the snare into the cross rhythm and sometimes I just did the kick and you didn't even hear the snare so you know you have a lot of choices in all these in, in as far as variations and stuff so let's go slow again
So now we're going to write this out, but let me do it faster first. Now we're going to write this down. All right. So to start out, let's use a different pen this time. Maybe we used green last time, I think. I can't remember. All right. So let's write this. So to start out, we're going to have an orbit. So this is a this is two orbit. Uh, I'm sorry, two. I'm going to write it like this. Uh, maybe uh, two triplet. Click orbit. It's a two triple click orbit. So there's two two triple click orbits plus a flare. So it's two triple click orbits. And, uh, and you know, there's a lot of different types of two click orbits. That's why the T is there to denote that it's a triplet, that it makes a what a da, like what a da, what a da, what a da, what a da. It makes a triplet sound. Because the other orbits, they kind of have different type of clicking patterns and they don't necessarily make triplets. But this is the triplet orbit. And this is the most common orbit. And this is the, I mean, the most common two click orbit. And this is the one you can go fastest with. This is when, anytime you see somebody doing a two click orbit, 90% of the time they'll be doing this one. I've seen Stonic do uh, even two clicks that sound different. An even two clicks sounds like this. See how that sounds different. That's two clicks also. Two clicks in the forward direction and two clicks in the back, but the clicks are evenly spaced apart and it makes a whole different sound. It sounds more like a flare. It's not a triplet sound, but this is a triplet sound. And you can refer it to uh, the, the two click uh, hybrid uh, lecture that I did and I'll, I'll put a link to that definitely. All right, so now, so we're gonna, so we're gonna draw this out all right, so I'm going to write the first orbit. So it's going like that. So this is going all right. And we're going to cut this in half. All right, and I see the middle point right there. All right, so I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. All right, all right. So this is the first orbit. All right, and then we're going to make another one. So this is. This is the middle point. I'm gonna make another one right there. All right. So this is so this is going what to ta what to ta what to ta what to ta. So we're gonna put a um, two clicks. Let's see. So this is the 50% point of the uh, of this particular orbit. All right. So this is I write an orbit. Like this. So orbit. All right, so 2TC orbit. All right, that's a 2TC orbit, two triple click orbit. All right, or just a two click orbit. Um, so yeah, so basically, so yeah, so we're gonna add two clicks. We're gonna add a click right here and a click right here. All right, and then we're gonna add a click right here and a click right here. All right, and this is gonna create three even pieces. So this is gonna be so, so it's going to be one, two. So it's going to be one, two, three sounds. So these are all three sounds. So you can see there's, there's. I'm going to count the sounds. We're going to, this is one, two, three. So 
wa da da. So there's three sounds, and then there's another three sounds. Right here is going this. These two clicks are going to cut this backwards motion into three pieces, just like the forward motion got cut into three pieces. It's like like I was saying, if you had a pie and you cut a pie, you slice it twice, you're going to have three pieces. Um, or or anything, if you have a stick and, or anything, you slice it twice, it's going to make three pieces. So we're breaking it twice. And then the change of direction is kind of like a click. You know, we, we call it, back in the day people would call this, we called it a, fan, a phantom click um, in the 90s. And a phantom click is the fact that you're changing the direction. It's kind of like a kind of like a phantom click. It's not an actual click, but every time you change the direction of the record, it's basically the same as a click. That's why if you put a click on here, the sound's not going to change that much, but it will, because it's like the difference between a baby and a chirp. They sound very similar, but the chirp is sharper. So have, having a click is sharper than a change of a direction. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. It's going to be broken up into three. All right, so you see that it's one, two, three, and then four, five, six sounds. So that's for the first for the first one. All right, so it's going what a da what a da. All right, and then this next one is going to be the same thing. All right, so it's going what a da what a da, and then we're going to put the middle here maybe. All right, and then we're going to do two cuts right there. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Maybe like that. And then we're going to do one, two here. All right, like that. So there's going to be a click right where this is. And then a click right here. All right, the same thing as this. Click right there. And then a click right there. All right, so this is going what a da what a da what a da what a da now if you just loop this it's kind of like what i was doing before it's not going to be a cross rhythm all right so that's not a cross rhythm all right that's just going what a da what a da what a da what a da so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12. So that's 12 sounds, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna put it on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 sounds. And then we're gonna have four more sounds, so there's gonna be a flare, all right? So this is going what a da what a da what a da what a da waka waka what a da what a da what a da what a da waka waka, all right? Okay? So basically, with this flare, we're gonna keep going here. And it's important to know that the flare is going to be a different length than these two. The flare is not the same size. It's not going what are the what are the what are the what are the waku waku. The flare is actually going to be shorter. It's going to be waku waku, okay? Because we have to uh, basically get to 16. So it's an even 16. Uh, you know, it's even like 16th notes. You know, so it's 16 counts in one bar, okay? So anytime you hear somebody say 16th note. That's basically 16 counts within a bar, or eighth note is eight counts within one bar. You know, or a whole note is one bar, one count, I mean, in one bar, you know, that's a whole note. You know, or a half note is two counts in one bar. So this is six, so this makes 16 sounds. So it's basically doing a bunch of 16 notes. So let's see, so we're gonna, um, so, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then the same distance. So about one, two, three, four, like that. So this other flare is, this, that flare is much smaller. That's why this flare you can choose if you want to do the kick and the snare or just the kick. So I'm gonna draw the line right here. I'll go like this. I'm gonna say, um, we have a, say this is the, uh, this is the kick region. It's the kick and this is the snare region. Okay, so the snare is everything above this line, everything above this line going across, all right, and then the kick. That's why when you do the scratch, it's going what did the, is you're doing the two clicks on the kick and the snare, you're, you're doing it on a lot of the sound, you know, so a lot of everything is getting cut up. So this one's cutting some of the kick up, this one might be cutting some of the snare up, um, and depending on how you move your hand, the variations and how tall this wave is, it'll, it'll sound different. So you notice before when you're doing the flare, sometimes the wave was low and you only heard the kick sound. 
sometimes the wave is high and you heard both. So most of these time, this time we're going to try to make the wave high. So we, we hear both. I'm going to go like, so, I'm gonna, so this is one, two, three, four. All right, it's the fourth sound. So like that. I'm gonna make this taller. I'm gonna make the flare just as tall as that. That's why when I do the flare, I'm gonna have to go waka waka at the end. So it's going what are the what are the what are the what are the waka waka. You know, this is gonna have a higher pitch than these two because I want to be able to do it on the kick and the snare. But you notice sometimes I was doing it where it was lower and it was just in the kick. All right, so this is a flare. It's just gonna be one click here, one click here in the middle. All right, so that's basically what a flare is. And then that so that's what divides. So it's going one. Two and the forward motion is going woku and then woku like this. So it's going woku woku. One, two, three, four. So alright, so like that. So it's going that's twelve. And that's thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. So twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Okay, so 16 sounds. All right, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's, that's 10 clicks. All right, let's make this capital C. So 10 clicks. All right, and this is 1, 6 sounds. So U, yes. All right, good. Awesome. So now we're going to do this. Okay, and then I'll draw the other one where it was shorter, so I'll draw the other version. All right, I'm going to draw the other version where the flare is shorter, so I'm going to make it like this, like this, and then make a little short flare. So you could also do it like that, where it's like that. Oops, make this a bit rounder, a bit rounder. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right. So this is the uh, this is the kick only version. So this is kick only version. So kick only version using flare. So on this flare, it's only the kick. But this one is these two. Um, two orbits use kick and snare. All right, so the two orbits use the kick and the snare, but this one doesn't. But most of the time, we're going to be using this. All right, so let me get back to it. All right. All right, so now we're going to go faster. Try that on some other sounds. All right, so let's start off at the. Uh, let's try the, the last one. All right, so let's see how it sounds. See how it sounds in this. All right, it sounded all right, but it's kind of muffled. Notice how it's very muffled, so it's hard to hear a lot of these first clicks right here, like that first one. You know, it's very muffled. You don't really hear these clicks that defined. Not a lot of high end in this. The other one had a lot of low end bass, so you heard the bass being chopped up. So you heard what the what the you heard a, a low bass kind of. This is chopping up the bass like what the 
you know. But this one, you're not really, you're not, you're not a lot of it. Yeah, you don't really hear that because it, um, so that, I don't really like how that one sounds. Let's try the next one. So, so that one has a big space in between. See, see the big space right here. So see empty space. It's a little scratch in the record right there. But those sounds cool too. But yeah, notice there's a big space in between. So I just see you see you didn't hear a lot of that stuff that happened in there. You only heard like maybe one of the clicks. You didn't hear both of the clicks. So that's why you know it's very important um, with all these tutorials. And I keep stressing every tutorial that it's very important the sounds that you're using. That's why we're going through different patches to see which sound best fits this because every scratch doesn't necessarily sound great with every sound. Uh, sound. So. So you don't hear it. you don't hear what the what the all you hear is what the you know you don't hear the whole what the you don't hear you know, very barely hear it. okay so let's try another one so let's try it fast and see what happens because sometimes if you do it fast it might sound better no nope, don't like that so let's try the next one You can barely hear it, so we're gonna go into the next one. I don't like that. One. All right, you know what? Let me turn this course lock off. So this one sounds all right because you can hear everything because it's got a lot of it's got a lot of. Uh, so, like different range of broad, kind of broader spectrum, and you can hear a lot more of what's going on. So, all right, so here we go. I still like how the original one sounds better, let's hear it in contrast. So it sounds very different, notice that. So, you, so, so it's night and day, two people could be doing the same exact routine and the person that has the better sounds is going to sound way doper. So that's why it comes down to, and notice this time I did this one where you only heard the flare and the, on, the, on the kick. I never got to the snare that's over here. Like that, like this style. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the next one. So here we go. So, so this one has a big space in between the kick and snare. It's hard to hear. So. so you can't really hear anything. Doesn't it sound very sloppy? Because if if you're doing clicks and then you're missing stuff, it's gonna sound sloppy because because it's not what you're intending to, the sound that you're intending to make. And then if you do that, then your brain might be like, oh, why is it sounding like that? See, it sounds sloppy because it's because the sound is different. All right, let's try the next one. That sounds great. The beat, so this is like a beatboxing one. So this has a lot of sound within it. There's always there's not a big space between the beats and snares, so there's always something to cut. When you're going wada da wada da wada da wada da waka waka wada da wada da. Alright? Okay, and this is alright again, this is sounds. This is one bar. So this is one one bar. Alright. Whoops. And to write C cross. Rhythm. All right, so it's a one bar cross rhythm. Let this see a little bit better. Good. Get this M a little bit better. All right, good. 
use a next time I'll have a marker with a better tip. This tip is really fat. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's try it. So So let's see. Alright. Alright. So notice that, that flare, I was keeping it very low. Even though I was hitting that other, that snare, that beatbox snare. The beatbox snare is very muffled. It's not like a loud, regular snare that's like, Ksh. this one is like, it's like, Ksh. Somebody's voice. So. All right. Let's try it again. See, this one's kind of cloudy too. So it's kind of a cloudy sound. It's not as sharp as the other one. All right, so. All right. Let's try another one. That was, that was all right. I didn't really like that one that much, but it sounded better than, the, than these other ones. So this one has a big space in between. So let's see what that sounds like. Nope, doesn't sound good. So listen. So you, you're not hearing a lot of stuff. Notice how that one is the same exact pattern that I'm doing, but you don't hear anything because there's a space between the kick and the snare. And like I was saying in a couple of videos ago, battle record producers, if you're making battle records, you might want to put something in between the kick and the snare, whether it's a bass or just some or extend the kick out some, make that the attack, decay, sustain, and release. The sustain and the release and the kick maybe go longer so people have something to cut between the kick. Now I'm just looking for a kick and a snare, I'm not going to use that one. So here it goes. That one sounds cleaner, but it's still, you don't really hear a lot. Yeah, you don't hear a lot on that one. All right, let's move on. Right, let's see how it sounds. It sounds better, but it's still very quiet and muffled. Hear it again. So let's try it again. Yeah, it sounds alright. But it's still very much. So you notice you still don't there's still not a lot between the, the middle of that kick and snare is the empty space right there. See that empty space? So if you click on empty space you don't hear anything. That's why you don't hear as much with that one. So. Alright? So 
this, this, so this, I was actually wrong earlier. I was saying this sounds good with a lot of different things. This actually only, still is kind of like the three click flare where it only sounds good with something that has a nice uh, kick in between. I mean, a nice sound between the, has sound, actual sound between the uh, kick and the snare. This one has a lot of sound between the kick and the snare, so it should sound very clear. So let's, let's see what happens. So. Okay, so, so it works. So let's see. See it works. It's a perfect one bar loop. It's going what the so it's going what the what the what what the what the what what the what the what the what the what the what the what what the the what 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 the continuously. This is it's very cloudy though. It's very heavy and cloudy. I'm going to turn the bass down on this because this bass is just like, kind of makes it sloppy. <laughs> sounds in between it I don't like how that one really sounds but you could hear that you could hear that it was at least a, a, a two-click orbit that's happening all right so let's go faster and let's see how fast we can go That sound. That snare is very abrasive. Well, this one's cool because it has. It sounds like there's a hi hat in there. The the, the hiss of the record. The the hiss is actually making a a hi hat. So it actually sounds cool. Like. And if we turn the high end up, so I'm going to turn the high up. For those who can't see, this is the, the, the high. I'm going to turn that up. Turn that up some so the hiss is even higher. So let's see what happens.
I like that one a lot because it sounds like there's some shakers with it. It sounds like somebody's going, somebody's shaking along with it. Like with one of those, like, you know, gourds with the little beads in it or something. <laughs> It has a lot of a lot of noise in it. Alright, let me turn this high and down. Alright. Need some more bass to that one. It has a bass in it, but you don't really hear it when you start cutting it. So this sounds very high end. It doesn't sound like there's any bass to it. But this is cool if you had somebody else with the kick and the snare, and 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 you just want to do the 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 rides and higher and stuff. This is be good in a you know a scratch uh, scratch group, a scratch uh, you know like a scratch band. And it'd be definitely good to see more scratch band videos on, on YouTube. I see a lot of individual stuff, but it'd be cool to see, you know, people coming together. snare kind of balanced uh, yeah, I really like how the uh, kick and snare are very balanced a lot of times snares and hip-hop are so loud um, or not to say hip-hop I mean these are sampled from other things but a lot of times you know we're used to having snares super loud but when you're doing all this hyper drumming stuff it's sometimes it's better for the, the snare and kick to be more balanced I like this because it sounds smooth and it doesn't feel abrasive. I can turn the level up and it doesn't feel super loud. And also too, I'm not plugged in to the direct. This, all these tutorials, everything is live. I like to do everything live so it's like the real sound which we really hear. Because so, when, when something is in a room, it's, you know, it can sound different. Because things sound super crisp and super clean when it's a direct plug-in, obviously. But if you're in a club and you're doing this, and you, and, you know, it's going to sound totally different. And this is more like how it's going to sound, you know, in real life. Because it... You know, it is in real life. This snare is really loud. And, it, and the loudness of the snare gets intensified when you do the super high flare. You know, the super the flare has a higher slope than these do. Because it goes a, short, a farther distance in the same in a shorter amount of time. 
or the, it goes the same distance as these, but in a shorter amount of time. So it's, the pitch is going to be higher. <laughs> See, that one you couldn't really hear anything. It's a lot like those ones on the other side. You can't really hear it. Let's, let's go to the next. So, here it goes, so. so this one sounds good. The snare is quiet. There's a big crash in it. There's a, bit, a lot of a lot of cymbals going on, so you can hear everything that you do. You hear the what the, the what the, the sounds like a transform. not a big defined uh, uh, cutoff of the sound at the beginning of it. Notice how it kind of, it's, it's kind of, it merges, so there's no, like, you don't hear defined, like, oh, that's where the snare and the crash begin, and I, I, I tend to like that, because then the sound is a lot more punchier and sharper and snappier, but this is cool, because it's a lot more, a lot more jazzy, it's a lot more... Oops. This one doesn't sound good. It's got a big space in between the kick and the snare. See, there's nothing there. So you're not hearing all this. So. You can't hear it. So I'm try the next. <coughs> that one doesn't have a 16th note kick and snare. So let's try this. might work. Let's see what happens. Nope. See so this one. So you can barely hear what the the what the you can't really it's like you can hear it but you know you have to really have it turned up and then the more you turn it up then the more abrasive it can sound so right. But what does sound cool is that that's that when you that the that that low end on the bass sounds like somebody's voice, like sounds like somebody going ooh, 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 ooh. Notice how it sounds, listen. There's like a bass undertone that sounds like But the kick and snare is so loud it just sounds kind of sounds kind of abrasive. Oh. All right, and we're back to the starting one, so we're going to go back to the main sound. So you see the difference, it's like night and day, it's literally like night and day, I'm using this sound versus all those other ones, it's like night and day.
was putting some stops in there and just so a little dynamic, a little bit change. All right. So let's start off slow again, and then we're going to speed it up. We're going to end this, we're going to end this session. So. So that's the cross rhythm where you're going within the beat so let's try it so all right so now we're gonna do a review I'm gonna do a quick review so get it right here all right. so now this, so once again, this is a two, two triplet click orbit plus flare. And this flare is actually smaller than these two. So we're gonna be more precise and say, what type of flare is it? How long is the flare? Is, it, is the flare the same as this? It's not. See, this is this length and this flare is much shorter. This, the distance is actually 66% of the size. That's why I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write point Six six distance. That's why I'm writing D. Point six six D flare. Okay, so it's sixty six percent of the distance. Okay, of of a normal of the normal scratch in this. So that's why you know it's a cross with them when you're adding things that are shorter and stuff like that. Because if I didn't put this sixty six, if I didn't put this sixty six D right here, then it's like how would I know that this flare is not this long or the flare is not that long. So this is just to be more specific, to say that this is like a normal one, I'm doing these times two, so it's two. And we're using regular um, uh, multiplication, so so instead of, so this is this plus this, but you can just say two of them, so two orbits that are happening in a row, instead of saying that plus that plus that, because then it'll be way longer, it'd be two click or two triple click orbit plus two triple click orbit. This is be able to reduce the size of the sentence, okay? The scratch sentence. All right, so let's, Try that one more time. So we'll go slow. <laughs> <laughs> 